guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my art channel, Kath Artistry. <laughs> you may be wondering what this is. I ordered a pair of boots, and in the middle of one of these little plasticky things to just hold the shape of the inside of the shoe. Anyway, they looked kind of intriguing to me. So my plan is to do like a wandering, well, I'm not really sure, a straight pour over both of these. So I'm going to need two cups. Um, and uh, to put all of the colors in. So uh, let's just get going with that. I'll show you one cup and then I'll put you on hold for a bit so you don't have to get bored seeing a second one and uh, be ambidextrous and see what happens. I mean, it's gonna go through these holes. This part here touches the canvas, so it'll be coming out around it. Anyway, I, it's anyway, something fun. This is my playtime, so without further ado, I have my black mixed with Prussian Blue, Prussian blue is by Amsterdam, black is by Liquitex. And we're gonna start with a little of that. Actually, now that I think about it, I might as well do two at the same time. Jeez, uh, I had white next. I don't wanna do white next. Uh, or do I? Maybe I do. I'm going to do a little bit of white. Uh, the canvas, by the way, is a standard edge 10 by 20 inch canvas. I really like that shape and this size. A lot of things. This is Amsterdam greenish blue, which is just a beautiful color. And then I have Arteza's Bordeaux red with a little black in it. Actually, I added too much black by mistake just to give it more depth. So yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Don't want to put white in it because I don't want it to be pink. Pink is not my thing. Okay, the next is Conacridome Nicolaise of Gold by Goldens. And then we'll start over again a little. I'm going to put Okay, that looks pretty strange. There's the little footprint. Pretty muddy looking. 
which I was afraid that might happen because you're pulling up high and it just kind of blended more than I wanted it to. So. I think I'm going to try the landscape. I've got to get this uh, corner off first. Of course, the corner I want off is not the one that wants to move, naturally. There it goes. Plan. I've got my <laughs> sun sky area horizontal line the uh, horizon and some swirls going on here in this dark ocean have to be patient. Paint moves slowly. Just take your time. Okay, I'm trying to straighten out my horizon. A bit. Goober I had to move. Messed up my nice little horizon here. Okay. I'm just scraping underneath the canvas edges to get that dripping paint off so the whole thing doesn't go dripping off. It's fluid art, so it's not gonna be a perfect, beautiful landscape. 
but that's part of the whole feeling of it to begin with. Um, and I've got you going the other way. So let me get you down for a close up. Okay. So here this is, it's rather dark uh, because the paint's muddied the way I poured it through, but I thought it was worth a try. It's an interesting bunch of holes in that shoe horn or whatever it is. Anyway, that top is my sun. And then you can see what looks like a cliff going into land. And then we come down to the ocean. And as we get closer, it's kind of like a tide pool thing there. Pretty interesting. So that clinochrome really went yellow next to the white. And as dark as that is, that looks pretty cool the way it comes up like the clouds that get wind blown. Lots of cool looking formations. So a little too dark for my liking, but I've seen other people do landscapes that are pretty dark and really when you <laughs> you look at the whole scheme together it uh, looks pretty good. We will see how it dries, which normally will be darker uh, than how it looks now, which I don't want. And I can always enhance a little bit uh, the lines after it dries to, you know, for the horizontal lines and maybe add a little bit more of the yellow with the white uh, to brighten up so it looks like uh, bits of sunlight coming through the dark clouds. So that's the plan. Yeah, hopefully this will dry well and uh, then I'll see you in a moment. So here this is. It's finished. Considering how dark and kind of boring it was started out as, uh, this was fun. It turned out really good. So I think that is a moon rather than the sun. So it's a moonlit seascape. Had a lot of fun doing it. It's had a lot of challenges, but uh, in the long run, I think it turned out just beautiful. Very happy with it. So, just remember, even if it looks like a fail, there's always something else you can do with it. If not, it's only paint, and you can paint over it. Um, this looked like a landscape, so I thought I'd give it a shot, and there it is. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you all take care, be well, and be happy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.